All right, the Detroit Lions named Daryl Bubble the interim head coach. So let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Only Daryl Bubble ever been a head coach, but it's okay with me. That just basically mean his ass on the way out, unless somehow he can get the Lions to the playoffs or win every game on the way out. A lot of people want him, Braden Coombs, to be the head coach, but I think Braden Coombs can be the interim head coach. I think he can be a head coach down the line. I just think he needs a little bit more seasoning. Uh, but let's talk about it. That subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. I ain't mad at it. Um, you know, Daryl Bevel being the head coach is just really a sinking ship or a ticking time bomb. And, um, he basically not going to be retained anyway, unless he can do something marvelous, Marvin Hagler, like do something phenomenal and, you know, bring the Lions to a new height, you know? So, you know, he probably got the most experience in the NFL on the staff as far as the coordinators. Um, could they ask one of the positional coaches to be the head coach? Yeah, Brian Flores was like a linebacker's coach. He was never a coordinator. Being the head coach, you know, don't mean you have to call plays. It's about managing. It's like being, you know, management at, you know, a warehouse or even at McDonald's. One of the hard things about it is getting everybody to be on the same accord and to believe in each other and buy into the game plan. Play call in the secondary. Getting dealing with people individual problems, dealing with the individual coaches, looking over the game plan, making the hard calls, go for it on fourth down, the blitz, and do all that stuff. That's what head coach is about. And if you're able to be manage the team and still call plays, you're a phenomenal head coach. Matter matters offense, defense, or special teams. You don't have to be an offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator to be a head coach. Brian Flores was a positional coach. Uh, John Harbaugh was a special teams coach coordinator. So, like I said before, not mad at it. You just a single time shit. We got to get to who should be the next coach. And Braden Coombs, you don't want to get him to be the interim coach and push him back down to be a special teams coordinator. You know, come on. So basically, he can be their little million dollar baby in the cut. And when they kind of get another coach in here, and let's say, I don't know, he had to retire or he gets sick or, you know, whatever it may be, Braden Coombs, Braden Coombs can step up and be that guy. But will he get interviewed for the head coach? Possibly, but he's just too young. You know, he just got to get more experience. And he was a receiver at Miami of Ohio. So don't mean he just limited to being a special teams coach. Don't be surprised if he get elevated to offensive coordinator or assistant offensive coordinator. But he definitely knows how to manage a side of the ball being special teams and get the most out of those guys. So that's one thing I like about Brayden Coons. But I think it's a little bit premature to bring him up as interim head coach and then try to make him go back to special teams coordinator or go back to a off go back to be an offensive coordinator. I just think you groom him through the organization. Eventually, he got something special in place. Maybe, maybe, maybe he just jumped the general manager. Maybe he jumped the offensive coordinator. Maybe he jumped the head coach in his future. So, you know, this is a this is a job you can't win. I think one of the few coaches that will be kept will be Brayden Combs. He will be here as a special teams coordination coordinator as long as he wants to be. Uh, Daryl Bell will be fired regardless, unless they bring in another defensive guy. But usually, uh, Jim Swartz. Was it Steve Rod Mer It was Jim Short, but they had Rod Mary Ladies and Jim Short, so they did go defense to defense. But Jim Short's defense, Jim Caldwell offense, Matt Patricia defense, and usually they like to go offense. So the Lions show uh Marinelli Caldwell, Marinelli, excuse me, Swartz offense, but then before him you had Mariucci. So it'd be interesting to see, man. But uh yeah, Daryl Bevel won't retain this position. I tell you that shit right now, excuse my French. Um he fired unless he does something. Marvelous. But hey, let me know what you guys think about Daryl Bell being an interim head coach. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you can reach out if you have a business card, business question cry, business question to cry response to the video request. My social media links in the description. Twitter's the fast wedding, Facebook and Instagram. Wanna make a donation to the channel, Cash App CJ Good313. That link's in the description, PayPal link. Okay, that's in the description. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate, share the video, hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. We go.